Mary here at Mary's Heirloom Seeds, and this is a follow-up to growing in blue food grade barrels. So in our first video, we shared with you how to cut the barrels in half. So we ended up with a top half and a bottom half, and now we're going to share with you how to grow in them. So first of all, you need to have drainage in all of your containers. Container gardening is really important that you have flow of water through your, your container. So we have this one here is the top. I'm gonna move all my stuff out of here. And you can see there's two big holes in there. So you can either keep those or you can cover those and have smaller drainage holes. Today we have our drill yet again uh, with a 5 8 drill bit. Um, it just looks right. So that's what I like for the holes in our container. Now we have a bottom here that has not been drilled. And we have a bottom here that has been drilled. We did this when we planted in our first barrel on our Facebook Live. Uh, the other thing to take into consideration is what are you going to plant? And we'll get to that after we do our drilling. So first of all, drill our holes. You can do it in a pattern if you'd like. You don't have to do any kind of pattern. Um, I like to get a good amount of holes. It doesn't have to be the whole thing, but it should be plenty. This one looks like there's nine or so. So let's go ahead and get started. You want to make sure, number one, that you don't have your hands next to your drill. You want it a little bit away just in case you slip. So I'm drilling, I'm drilling around the outside first. And then I'm going to drill on the inside. And I'm all set. Can hear it's, can hear it's raining out here. All right. So there we go. We have our barrel. Now, normally I wouldn't necessarily have all of my filling in buckets, but today I wanted to share with you what exactly I'm using in my uh, barrel garden here. So first off, I raked up some leaves. So we have two uh, buckets of leaves. You notice I'm using kitty litter buckets. We use a lot of those around the homestead here because they're free. Uh, we do a lot of recycling here. I have one bucket here of aged chicken manure. I'm not sure if I'm loud enough here since I've got lots of rain here. And then I have our homemade potting soil. This is part of one of the videos that we did here for our YouTube channel. Um, I will link the video down below in the description section, that way you have it. So let's get started. So first I have the dead leaves. Really starting to rain here. Now we have our aged manure. my gloves. Not a big fan of ch touching chicken manure without my gloves. I don't know. Whatever. Hey, okay. plus it might keep me a little warm. Kind of cold here. Now we have another bucket of dead leaves. This will give me a nice, a nice fluff. It'll start to decompose and it will feed my plants as the roots reach down into the decomposing leaves. Now I have, now I have soil from the garden. I have lots of soil from the garden. You wanna make sure it's nice and fluffy. Because it's been raining lately, a lot of this soil is heavy and wet. 
so I won't necessarily have to water it before I plant in it, but I'll definitely water after I plant in it. You want to make sure that your soil is moist when you plant your seeds. And like I said, we've had a lot of rain, so all of this soil is heavy and wet. I've got another barrel here. All of these are recycled buckets that we're reusing here. I love the rain and I love that I can film in this greenhouse and not get soaking wet. All right, now lastly, I have our uh, potting soil mix that we have here. This has just a little bit of mountain flower root boost in it already. What I'm planting here doesn't require a lot of fertilizer, so I don't need heavy amounts of fertilizer in this barrel. But this is nice, fluffy soil here. And like I mentioned, I wouldn't necessarily be if I was just doing this to plant in it, I wouldn't have all these buckets. Uh, but for the sake of the video, I wanted to share with you all of the different components to my barrel garden. Now, what am I going to plant, right? So I have here, I have Henderson's Black Seeded Simpson Lettuce. That's a really good one. I have Pak Choi Cabbage. That's part of our 99 cent seed pack sale. I have Perpetual Spinach Swiss Chard. I will link in the description section below about uh, Perpetual Spinach Swiss Chard. It's a really, really good variety. It's a Swiss Chard, but it looks and tastes like spinach. So if you're in warmer climates, it's not really warm here, but if you are in a warmer climate like Texas, Florida, California, this is a great variety to grow because it's more heat tolerant. I also have California early white garlic. I've got a little bit left. I planted most of my beds out there, but I wanted to add a little bit of spice to my garden here. So I'm just going to have three heads and I'm going to start with garlic. Garlic needs about four to six inches in between each bowl. I'm going to leave the paper on and I'm going to plant them directly in the middle. These need to be about two inches deep. Now from there, I'm going to plant my larger varieties on the outside, on the back. This is Perpetual Spinach Swiss Chard. The rule of thumb when planting seeds is twice the diameter of the seed is how deep you plant it. However, some of these seeds we're planting are teeny tiny. They're teeny tiny. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently sprinkle the leaves on the top of the soil, and then I'm going to gently sprinkle a handful of soil on top of those seeds so that they get covered, but they're not too deep. Last planting. Also usually one hole per plant. You can plant more seeds per hole if you'd like. Here we have the Hendersons. I'm going to place this on the opposite side here. And now the, the Pak Choi cabbage I'm going to plant closest to me. So these are going to be planted in clumps. It'll look really cool once it starts growing. Oh, some new seeds. And then lastly, I have Little Gem Lettuce. Little Gem Lettuce is one that I mentioned that I'm just going to gently cover. I'm going to sprinkle this on. A lot of seeds. The great thing about little gem lettuce is I can trim it and I don't have to pull the whole head up of the... I don't have to pull the whole head of lettuce up. Spread 
it out, cover up those seeds, and you're all set. Thank you for joining me. My name is Mary at Mary's Heirloom Seeds, and if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at mary at maryshairloomseeds.com. Thanks for getting dirty with me. Enjoy.